All right, this is maple leaf rag. Now, maple leaf is in a standard form. It has an A section, a B section, a C section, and a D section. The A section repeats, the B section repeats, then there's a reprise of the A, the A comes back, then we have C and D. Uh, there are no, as far as I know, there are, we'll check as we go through, but I don't think there are any variations of the endings. So it's really just a question of learning the four sections as units. And uh, what I'm going to do to begin is play the first section um, as slowly as I can. I'll try to do it slowly and accuracy, accurately, although the caterpillar effect take, comes in and I kind of have the centipede effect. I worry about count, counting, counting my legs. Now let's make sure we're in tune before we begin. Uh, we don't have to worry about the capo this time. The capo is gone. Uh, we're in drop D tuning, however, still. So the guitar, yeah, and you should be tuned to me as much as possible so that you can play along. That sounds a little bit sharp, so I'm going to take it down. That sounds pretty good to me. Always check your tuning at various different uh, positions. So what I like to do before I begin a piece is check the tuning in with the D chord, since we're in the key of D, in the second position, and then up here in fifth position, and then up here in tenth position, so that the different D chords all sound in tune everywhere along the guitar, and uh, we're ready to go. So here is the first part, uh, I'll call it A, part A of Maple Leaf Rag. All right, uh, what can I tell you? You have tablature with you, so you can look at what the notes are. We start on a, a D chord in fifth position here. And it's simply a roll. Uh, shouldn't be anything complicated there. This is the A chord. That repeats. B flat to A, B flat to A. Now you notice in uh, detuning, in order to get the bottom note, the bottom B flat, you have to be up here on the eighth fret. Now this is a roll that uh, an arpeggio on the piano, and it uh, covers about four octaves. And you can't do that on the guitar, so I try to get the effect by using the following notes. It's a D, D, F, A. That's the first roll. So it's sixth string, fourth string. Then this is hammered on. Um, again, it's just an effect, and you can change it. You can modify it. But I like to hammer it, so it's... If you notice, the note is being played by the, uh, by the left hand. And then the first finger of my right hand picks that A over there. Then the next roll up is uh, I start on that bass note again, go up an octave, and do a hammer an octave higher than before and play, play the D. So the whole thing is now the next one is uh, and again I use a hammer. So it's D, A, F, A. And for the top one, we come up here to wherever we are, 10th position. And I just play the notes separately. I don't think I hammer them or anything. 
but it's a D minor chord. And then we go to this diminished chord. Play it four times. This is a D major. And the B flat, always a little hard to find. But this is a B flat chord. It's the uh, in sixth position. It's the F type of chord. Now here we have a bar on the seventh fret and a single finger on the ninth. And then melody note is there. A7, D. I get it this way in order to get all the notes of the D chord in, since I don't want to be up on the first string. Then we do the same diminished chord over here in first position. We're hammering there a little bit. Now, because the melody has to come way down low, it has to drop below the chords. So what's happening there is we have a B-flat chord, and I'm using the second finger, which is free, to get the melody. And the same thing after we switch to the D chord. So you see the harmony is uh, above the melody at that point, and that simply repeats. Now let's uh, go through the A theme. I'll play it twice so that you have it twice, as slowly as I can in a split-screen format. 